Hi, so today we're going to talk a little bit about block level elements. So block level elements are a type of tag um, or a group of tags that are used in HTML. Um, the main difference between block level inline uh, elements um, are really, you can see it in some of the, the, the documentation here in Mozilla, but they basically take up the whole space of the, of the page, right? Um, inline elements are, they live inside of block level elements. So to give you some examples, um, if you have, let's say, a paragraph, a paragraph is one type of block level element. You can see a list of all of them over here. Uh, that will take up uh, the whole, the whole um, size of the container, right? Um, however, if you have, let's say, like a bold word inside of that um, paragraph element, that would be inline, so that only contains the space of that word or whatever it is that you're that you're trying to make bold. So we're going to do some examples so you can see what I mean. Um, so before we start, let's just uh, open up our Sublime, right? And we're going to get started. The first thing we want to do is say file save and we'll say um, learning HTML dot HTML. Make sure that when you call when you save this it has dot HTML at the end, okay? So you call it whatever you want, but make sure it says .html and save it, okay? Uh, now what we want to do is we want to create a, let's create a new window, right? I'll just squeeze this down over here, right? And you want to go to whatever, wherever directory you, you have and just drag it into your browser, or you can double click it. Uh, um, as long as Chrome is your uh, your browser. Okay, so there's nothing here, which makes sense because there's nothing here. So let's start playing around here and creating some block level elements. So before you do anything with HTML, you have to start off by saying HTML, right? <coughs> um, so that's, that's uh, obviously very important. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to say head, right? And after that, we want to say body. Okay, notice that head and body are nested inside of the HTML tag, but they're outside of each other. So they're siblings. So head is here, body is here. Okay, inside of the head tag, we can do something like, we can do something like a title, right? And this is, we can call this learning HTML. All right, so let's just save that and refresh, right? What you'll notice is right here, it's gonna say learning.html. So this is the title of your page, right? And not some other browsers, you might see it in different places, but in Chrome, you'll see it right here on your tab, right? Okay, so that's that's title. This isn't a black level element. This is uh, more of a descriptive element. And the difference between head and body Head is where you'll have things that don't necessarily show up in your in your browser. So here's where you have, um, you know, your CSS, your JavaScript, and a few other things uh, that that uh, that you'd place in here, but not your um, your like display elements, like your the things that are going to actually show up. So an example. All right. So here's a, a good, uh, so, so, so let's just say, for example, we wanted to create a paragraph. Uh, in Sublime, here's a nice little trick. If you write lorem and you press tab, you're going to get a nice block of text, right? If I save this and I refresh, now we get that blocks of, block of text showing up here. And, and it knows it's Latin. So, um, okay, so that's, that's one. Right, so now we actually put something on the on the page. Now we want to actually make sure that this is known as a paragraph, right? Okay, so paragraph, we will say um, we have to surround this with a p tag, right? So these are paragraph tags, right? And then you can, I could show you if you can make multiple paragraphs. Right, so there's two paragraphs. 
So now if I refresh this, you'll notice there's two paragraphs, right? Uh, never generate the site. Okay. Okay. So now we've done that. Let's look at some of the other things that we're that we'd like to have here in a, in the block level side. Um, so this is block level. Um, some of the other things that we have in here are where are we here? Uh, headers, right? So let's just say we wanted to have a header. So if you notice here that we have headers, like this is a header. These are all blocks. Uh, paragraph, paragraph. This is a header. And you'll notice that there's a large header here, right? And then there's these smaller headers, and then there's these over here. So these are different levels of, of headers. So let's go to the header. So you see the H1, right? The, the way these work, it's the one, H1 is going to be your largest um, your largest part of your structure and everything else is going to fall below it. So you have H1s, you don't have H2s. If we if we looked at inspect here, one of the things you can do with inspect, you could basically use this for any page and you can use this little button over here. Right? And then you can just click on something. Right? And you'll notice I just clicked on it and you'll see that this is an H1. If I use the same button, right, and clicked over here, you'll see this is an H2, right? Because it, it lives inside of the H1. If there was another header, it would probably be an H3. Uh, actually, let's see right here. Let's see. So here's another one right here, right? That's an H3, right? So that's the way it's set up over here on, on, on Mozilla. So we're gonna do the same exact thing, right? Um, so let's go here and we're going to say that here, there's going to be, uh, we'll say header, Right on top of this, we're gonna say we're gonna create an H1, right, uh, and then say header one, right. Okay, so now if I were to test this, right, and refresh, you'll see header one. Okay, um, now let's go back to here, and let's say that this here is actually a subhead, right? So we're gonna say this is going to be H2, header two, or subhead. I'll say subhead, subhead 1A, right? And then we refresh, and there's subhead 1A. If we wanted to go here and create another subhead, we'll say subhead 1B, right? And then we can go, um, I mean, you, you get the point, right? So, and then we can then go in here and do multiple, you know, we can do here and say, this would be H3, and this is sub head, uh, sub sub head, right? So sub sub head. Okay, so let's just, and you'll notice like, as this goes, like it's getting larger. It's larger at the ones, and and it gets uh, as you get to header two, header three, and this header. This is header. Uh, this is header one, header two. Um, okay, so those those are headers, right? And this is going to be really important when we start talking about accessibility and the structure of your of your page. Um, you'll, you'll start to realize why this is super important and, and knowing how to use these are very important. Um, okay, so those are headers. Let's go to the next thing we have here. So we have headers, we talked about that. Um, all right, so let's look at, we can look at, say, list. Okay, so let's go to ordered list, right? So what's an ordered list? Um, an ordered list is essentially a way to uh, graphically show like bullets. Um, or So an or unordered list would be bullets, which would be a UL. An ordered list would be a list with some sort of order, meaning like letters, numbers, et cetera. Right, so let's just do that real quick. Okay, so let's just clean this up a little bit. We're gonna remove all of this, all right? And we're gonna say 
here we're going to create a little list, right? So an ordered list is, and one thing you could do with Sublime is you just write the tag and then you press tab and it just creates the end mark and it puts it right in the middle, which is super helpful. Uh, and then you can create, um, actually another cool thing you can do in Sublime is if, you, if you're here, right? Uh, make some spaces, right? And then on the cursor, hold down the command key and then click on the next space and the next space, right? And then you can start to type and check this out, it's pretty cool. You can say li and you'll notice how it's just creating a bunch of, uh, it's typing in different lines, which is super helpful. And then we can say list item, right? And then save, right? And I just click out and you're done. Um, so I just created three lines all at once, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I created an ordered list and inside of this ordered list, there's what's called list items, right? So we could say A, B, C, right? So this is another type. Um, and just to show you what an unordered list is, we'll say this one is a U. Okay, so let's just refresh this. And now you'll see you have a list, uh, an ordered list, one, two, three, and you have an unordered list, bullet, bullet, bullet. 